over the weekend has sparked comment across the nation with some calling for the show to be taken off the air permanently. And here's Sophie Hull. Cam, come over here. Why? This doesn't just happen in something like the Big Brother house. It's happening in university colleges. It's happening in nightclubs. It's prevalent. <laughs> it didn't appear to be a sexual assault uh, in the first place. And maybe this is a big publicity stunt at the end of the day. Yay! Lie down, shut your eyes. Why? <laughs> I think the vast majority of people out there will be quite aware that without consent, you just don't go and push your genitals into somebody else's face. What are you going to do? You're not going to be eating turkeys like me, are you? No. <laughs> you are, you liars. If my son had sexually assaulted someone, then yes, I would be very, very upset. But my son did not sexually assault assault anybody. I've just got turkey slab. Whether it was harmless fun or serious sexual assault, no one can argue the so-called turkey slapping incident was in good taste. And it seems that may be exactly what the producers of the flagging reality series were after. Clearly there was sexual misconduct and the producers have done the right thing. They've evicted the men involved. John and Ashley will not be returning to the house. Oh my god. Really sorry. Professor Catherine Lumby from the University of Sydney's Media Studies feels the response from Big Brother producers was appropriate. Oh but it can also be argued the response has been executed for maximum exposure. One well publicised smutty incident pulling the reality series out of a six year ratings low. There's a point where uh, audiences and regulators uh, have got to say enough is enough. Damien Tudhope from the Australian Families Association says while it may have grabbed everyone's attention, this is not the sort of incident that should be shared with the viewing public. What can we do about it if we don't want this stuff in our homes? What we've got to do as consumers of free-to-air time is be saying to those advertisers, if you continue to support this sort of show, then we won't buy your product. The Family Association is calling on all parents to boycott any product advertised on the show, whether you're a Big Brother viewer or not. I said to Big Brother there was no malice intended. Yeah. They were doing it in a playful way, and when I said very specifically to John, don't, no, he didn't do it. He Despite said, her seemingly oh, no, complicit behaviour, Camilla is exhibiting the signs of someone in distress, according to rape crisis counsellor Karen Willis. I don't think we can ever make too big a deal of sexual assault, ever. I don't think that um, women should be subjected to that sort of behaviour. Should we feel any sympathy for John and Ash? They've stepped over the line. They don't deserve sympathy for those actions at all. The parents of both of the men involved believe their sons have been used. Big Brother manoeuvres these kids and um, puts them in positions that out here in the real world that you're not put into. Well, regulators have got to say, we've had enough of this show, take it off the air. Sophie Hull reporting on the latest Big Brother scandal there.